Yes, indeed. Big Brother Bear here to give you all that you want and what you need. Today's video is going to be the video to help you decide if you have what it takes to be a college student athlete, if you have what it takes to even be a college student and graduate, if you have what it takes to achieve any of your goals that you want to achieve, this video is going to help you decide that. It's going to ask you that one question you need to ask yourself in order to do so. That question is this. <laughs> There is but one question that you should ask yourself before going after any goal, whether that's going to college, whether that's, whether that's being a student athlete, whether that's owning your own business, whether that's going to law school, whatever it is, it is but one question. This one question separates the men from the boys. This one question separates the women from the, from the little girls. This one question separates the people that want to just sit there and dream versus those that actually get it done. You ready for this question? Now this question is, it's an uncomfortable question. It's one that people tend to avoid. It's one that, that is the reason why people stay stagnant and don't achieve their goals. The question is this, is whatever you're going after worth being alone? I can't tell you how many times people tell me that my video should be in color. Bell, more people would be, would, more people will watch your videos if you had them in color, Bell. And I have to admit, it's tempting because everybody else is in color. But I wanted to make sure I was different. I wanted to make sure I carved out my own way. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't trying to copy anybody else. You know what's funny about this? Is LeBron James has a series at the barbershop where his videos are oftentimes shot in black and white. No one says anything to LeBron about it not working. And I was doing this before that show even came out. Another point is, when Fox News told him to shut up and dribble, and he came out with this, this slogan of more than an athlete. Check my catalog. I've been putting up videos on this doggone YouTube channel before that came out. I've been putting up videos about that as early as 2016. Hoop Loudy is bigger than that campaign, but people will latch on to that because LeBron's doing it. My thing is, I was willing to go alone on that that journey by myself. Let's take it back. Let's take it to, let's take it to taking classes in college. That mindset, you have to, when you have a goal, when you have a dream, you have to have that mindset that you're willing to go by yourself. You don't need someone to hold your hand. You don't need someone to always come over there and massage your shoulders and say, it's going to be all right and we're going to do it. We're going to do this together. <clears throat> Are you willing to go talk to that professor by yourself? and see what you need to do as far as what you need to study, as far as questions that you may have. Are you willing to get a tutor by yourself? Not, hey guys, let's call a tutor together. I'm willing to do this by myself, night after night after night after night. Are you willing to get in a hot, humid, stinky gym this summer and groove your shot? Or are you gonna be sitting here waiting on your friends to show up? Don't wait on your friends to show up. Don't wait on anybody else to see your vision. Don't, don't wait on anybody else to, to champion you, cheerleader, cheer, uh, be your cheerleader, rub your shoulders and say, it's going to be okay, Billy. You don't need that. What you need is to learn how to be by yourself and get things done yourself. The funny thing about that is when you do that, after a while, people are going to jump on the bandwagon. After a while, people are going to say, oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, I want to be a part of that. The biggest goals, the biggest dreams, the biggest biggest aspirations that you want to achieve have everything to do with you going by yourself. You don't groove your shot because you have you always have people to go to the gym with you. That always gets me. You get somebody want to lose weight and say, well, I would lose weight if I had somebody to go to the gym with. You ain't losing weight then. You're not going to lose weight. You're going to be that size forever, if not bigger, if you wait on somebody. Do you, do you wait on somebody else to eat? I guarantee you that if you're hungry, you're going, you're going to eat by yourself. Even if you're a person that you're a social person, you want to eat with other people, I guarantee you, you won't starve to death before you go eat. So why would you, why would you wait in order to go work out? I think people like to include everyone because they have somebody else to blame it on. It's easy for you to blame it on your coach that you didn't get recruited. It's much different to carve your own path, put out your own film, go talk, talk, go talk to the coaches yourself, write letters yourself, go knock on doors yourself. It's difficult to do that. And you have to do it alone. You have to wake up on a regular basis doing the same thing over and over again by yourself in hopes for a result. This summer's coming up right now. And I know a lot of you are saying you're going to be in the gym. I'm going to be in the gym. Eat, sleep, drink, in the gym. I get it. Yeah, I know. 
But a lot of you are only saying that if your buddies go in there with you. A lot of you are only saying that if you have a group that goes with you. You ain't about that life of going into a gym by yourself, stinky gym, putting in hours by yourself. Many of you won't go to colleges outside of your state because it requires you being by yourself. Now, if you have heavier things in your life, like there's people sick and things like that, that's different. But so much of college is carving your own way. Many of you know that I work at a college university that have been working at different universities around the country for the past seven years. And I've seen more times than not students make boneheaded decisions only because the group they were in were making boneheaded decisions. Things they knew they weren't supposed to be doing. They knew this is a bad deal. We probably shouldn't do this. They do it anyway because they have people around them. It, and it, it would be more difficult to be alone and do the right thing than to be with everybody else doing the wrong thing. That's powerful. That means that you have to be intentional. You have to be intentional about not only who you hang around with, but also being able to step out and say, you know what, I'm going to be by myself for a while. It's going to be uncomfortable, but I know I'm doing the right thing. And if you're able to do that, there is no goal, there is no dream, there is no passion that you can't fulfill. But if you're waiting on somebody to hold your hand, if you're waiting on somebody to rub your shoulders and say, Billy, it's going to be okay, you're going to be waiting for a while. You're going to be waiting for a crowded bus. And once that bus gets to its desired destination, it won't be worth going there anyway because everybody's going to be there. Drive your own car. Drive your own car. You'll get help in the future. Once you get this thing going, everybody's going to want to go in there and help you then. But, but when you start off on a goal or a dream, it's based off a of vision. It's not based off the sight of everybody else. It's based off a of vision that only you have. Whether it's you going to med school, being a lawyer, being a doctor, being a coach, whatever it is, you got to go off your vision, what you see to be true, and then everybody else will fall in line later. But don't wait on them. Keep working by yourself. Go in that gym by yourself. Go get go go to that tutor by yourself. Go reach out to that reach out to that coach by yourself. Stay in the gym by yourself. So you don't have to rely on anybody else. Because that's what happens. A lot of people, the reason they don't get to that next step, because they're waiting on everybody else to believe in them. I don't, I don't care if you believe in me or not. This is going to get done regardless. Either you can join in and be a part of the party, or you can sit your behind over the sideline and sit here and watch me work. It's really, that's the only two choices you have. But I'm not going to sit here. What choice you won't be granted is, Hey, let me beg you to be a part of this. Nah, son, we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't on that. We ain't on that at all. This is gonna happen. I guess if I'm being honest, I'm making this video primarily to myself because I'm about to do it again. I'm about to do it again. I'm about to have, <clears throat> I'm about to start another project that I'm gonna be alone on and people are gonna make fun of me much like they did with the black on, or the, the much, much like they did with the, the black and white videos. But I won't make it to where I want to make it to unless I do this, this, this thing. I want you to be a part of it. I'm going to chron chronicalize this, this, this thing that I'm doing. And that thing is, I'm about to make a mascot. I'm about to make a mascot for the brand. This mascot is going to be amazing. This mascot, I can see it with my vision even though I can't see it with my sight. I want you to be a part of it, but I'm going to go on this, this, this road by myself for a while, by myself. I've been doing it already. Y'all just haven't known about it. When I tell y'all that I've been working on things, and y'all be like, oh, Bell, just talking. I'm serious. I'm serious. So this mascot is going to be amazing. It fits the brand. It's going to be something I can, I can take to different games and get more people to, to show up to the channel. I get so many of you telling me, hey, Bill, you should have more than two, uh, you should have more than 3,000 subscribers. You should have 10, you should have 50,000 subscribers. And I get that and I appreciate you saying that. But I had to look at, I had to, I had to reassess and say, you know what, what can I do to get more eyeballs on me that's going to help more people as far as their student athlete process? What can I do? And I said, you know what, I think a mask got to be able to do it. Not only am I getting a mask, I'm actually going to mascot training school in July. It's going to be June or July, we'll see. I'm going to bring video footage. I'm so excited about this that I'm actually bringing my camera to the mascot training. 
I want you to see step by step of how this thing is going to work. And I want this video to be a rhyme or reason why you believe that when you start off any dream, when you have any ambitions, you have to go by yourself. You have to be brave enough to go by yourself even though people think you're crazy, even though people think you're stupid, even though people make fun of you. So this will be the first video letting you know that this, the giraffe is coming. I have a design, and I'll let you know probably week by week, maybe not that much, but I'll let you know. This won't be the only video that I give you an update on. Right now, I'm just letting you know it's about to happen. The next time I'll show you some, some, some little samples, I'll maybe show you the giraffe. I'm going to take you on my mascot training that I'm going to so I know how to move and dance like a uh, giraffe. That's going to happen as well. So I'm going to take you on that as well. So that's going to be awesome. I don't know if you know it or not, but I just not dropped the major gym, fella. This happened, this, this, hey, this is on the court, off the court, off the field, on the field, in the classroom, out of the classroom, in life. You take this bit of, uh, you take this bit of information and there's no limit where you're going. And there's no limit on where you, where you can go. So as always, whether it's on the court or off, in the classroom, out, graduate at the top of your class. Hoop loudly.